When I first came up with this idea for making a 3D snake game, as awesome as it sounded, I knew it was going to be a really tough project. But still, that didn't quite stop me from pursuing the idea. I searched around YouTube to see if I could find similar projects which I could use as reference to build mine. Fast forward 10 minutes after, I couldn't find any. The ones I did find were either made with a different language or were built using 3D engines or libraries. And I'm way too cool to be using all those fancy hacks. So with the internet literally turning its back on me, I was now left to fend for myself. So I thought of an idea. If you watch YouTubers with no lives that are practically masters on making snake with JavaScript, you notice that 90% always make use of the HTML5 canvas to build the game. Funny enough, I am also guilty of this myself. Now don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with using the HTML5 canvas. I mean, it was literally created for drawing objects using JavaScript, so it's super convenient for making video games. But the downside is, the canvas element was built only to render 2D drawings, which means if I'm to write the code from scratch, can't rely only on JavaScript, I'm going to need CSS. Which means the only option I have at this point is to make my own canvas that will render my CSS code and at the same time run my JavaScript logic as well. And as complex as it might sound, it's actually not that hard to pull off. Of course. Alright. So we got a canvas. We got a green square as well. See, it's not that hard, we're actually making progress. Yo, divine, chill. All you did was put a green square in a larger square. Oh, really? So, the square can move down. Shut up. And just when I thought everything was going well, I ran into a little problem. Okay, a major problem. The snake wasn't quite aligning properly with the fruit. I was rendering the drawings in pixels. And because I'm constantly randomizing the fruit's position, there is no way I could get the fruit and the snake to align properly. And in case you're wondering what a pixel is, a pixel is one of the small dots or squares that make up an image on a computer screen. And if you don't know what the screen is or what the computer is, then you're definitely a lost cause like, how did you even get to this video? So I began brainstorming on possible fixes. I put literally all my six years of secondary school math into work. But for some reason, I couldn't fix the problem. So at this point, I just gave up and started playing Snake on the internet. Then again, I decided to go on YouTube and see if I could find anyone that made the Snake game with CSS and JavaScript without using the HTML5 canvas. And luckily for me, it was actually the first video. So I watched the video and two minutes in, I actually got the fix I was looking for. Okay, so here's the idea, you need to use the CSS grid system. And how that works is, it's basically setting up the entire canvas with n number of rows and n number of columns. Which then, the snake and the fruit would occupy one block depending on the x and y positions you give it. And with that, the snake and the fruit would always be aligning properly. You get it? If you don't get it, forget about it. So that's basically just the gist of it. With that out of the way, I was then eager to watch the entire video to see- You can see it. Um, yeah, here we go. Now we're talking. This 
was at this point i realized i haven't even put scores in the game so i quickly did that and unlike my past games i decided to polish this one a bit by giving it a start page some select menus uh, and all that fancy stuff i still found some bugs and glitches here and there which i later fixed so yeah i guess that's pretty much it for the video um but quick announcement before i go actually i think i need a drum roll for this Okay, the big news is, is that I'm now on GitHub. So yeah, if you want to check out source code for all the crappy projects I'll be making up to this point, then head over to github.com slash divine203 and you'll see that. The link is also in the description if you're too lazy to type. Also, if you want to try out the game yourself, I did host it, so go check it out. I'll also leave the link in the description. But do keep in mind, the game isn't mobile friendly at all, so make sure that you're viewing it either on desktop or on your laptop. And it works best on Chrome and Edge. Other browsers, I am not so sure. With that being said, don't forget to live your life with purpose, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.